good afternoon boys and girls so today we are going to learn in this class about the functions of essential ingredients of bread making okay there are like various product like different uh, ingredients which we use in the bread making are uh, like a flour sugar fat eggs yeast salt moistening as well so flour you can say it's the uh, one of the backbone or you can say it's one of the main component of the bread making and it is like you can uh, one, of the, one of the most important ingredient as you know that it, it is not possible to make a bread without a flour it can be different like a, uh, it can be refined flour it can be rye flour it can be multi grain flour it depends upon your product so as a day to day uh, like in regular basis what flour which you use in the bakery are, are refined flour so the functions which are the which are for the like bread uh, for the flour are it acts as the binding agent of for the product okay so it gives a flavor to the product and then uh, we have another function is that it gives a nutritive value to, to the product builds the structure to the product okay it helps to combine all the product like all the remaining ingredients whatever is there in the product available in the like product that product it helps to bind all the product and it gives to uh, help to give us shape to the product okay uh, then it gives us help to affects as a, li a self life of that product maybe if you are adding less amount of moisture or more amount of moisture so it affects that uh, to the self life of that product if you are adding less uh, amount of uh, flour in that okay then we will talk about the sugar the sugar basically uh, it have a different functions it is used as a sweetener as you know that sugar is a, like it tastes sweet so it help to as a sweetener to that product then it, sugar help as a act uh, it acts as a energy food for the yeast it is you can say that it is a food for yeast and it helps as a energy food for the yeast and which helps the yeast to rise in that product so produces co2 that raises the dough fabric okay it helps the like sugar helps the uh, yeast to produces uh, co2 which helps to develop the um, fabric to that product okay so improves the flavor and taste okay then another one uh, the important function is uh, retains moisture for a longer time and improves the shelf life when it when the sugar gets uh, we added add in the flour or in the that bread making dough so it helps and it caramelize when the like when heat is provided and it gives a dark color to that product okay then it helps to give a crusty like dark crusty brown color to keep that product okay then it gives a nutritive value to the product okay it improves the toasting quality is uh, used for the like sometimes it helps to give different flavors also okay then after that we uh, will talk about the fat like fat we have a, another few functions which helps our like fat helps to uh, making the bread making fat gives a nutritive value and flavor as well okay then it helps to make the product tender means if you are, if you will commonly if you will take an example of a day to day life when you are making a chapa, uh, like paratha or any kind of a puri at home you add the fat as you can say you add uh, like a dalda or a refined flour which is acting as a fat in that product and it gives low, like more tender and pliable like palatable to that product so you can say the fat helps in that then it gives a uh, softness to the product again this it's also same like uh, it gives a tender you can say then it improves the taste and shelf life of the product it gives the good flavor to that product okay you will get more uh, dark color of the product it helps to give a color to the product okay then it uh, it increase the uh, like you can say it increase the eating quality of the product maybe if you will uh, give the add the extra amount of fat so it will their product will be more crispy or sometimes it is more uh, like a nice color so it helps like uh, to the eating quality of that product okay then after that uh, fat can be like it can be uh, sometimes your uh, refined flour also refined oil also it can also be uh, counted as a fat in day to day life in our bakery commonly we use fats are like uh, 
GSM margin or puff margin. These are the common uh, fat which we use in the back, uh, like bakery. And even the, our um, uh, unsalted butter or salted butter, even our uh, like. Uh, is sometimes we are adding a uh, cookies margin also so these are the few uh, fat which we use in our day to day in the baking products especially in our breads and cookies then after that we have a important uh, one of the most important uh, like uh, component in the bread making is the eggs it, it has a different functions okay so it gives the uh, like it provides the structure to the product okay it, uh, it gives moisture to the product you can say uh, as you have seen in the classes also we uh, sometimes we have told you that uh, after adding entire uh, means after adding water add the milk add the uh, egg after that check the consistency of the dough if it if you require then you can add extra amount of water so you can say that egg is also acts as a as a, as a moistening agent or uh, it helps to give a moisture to that product okay it ha uh, it also gives the flavor to that product our uh, bread okay it uh, improve the product size uh, sorry taste it gives a nutritive uh, value of that product okay and then uh, lecithin present in the eggs uh, egg yolk act as a emulsifier okay so uh, egg yolk contains fat which uh, which help has a shortening as an action and so it uh, it help as a shortening agent of the product also okay then egg wash when we are applying on the top of the any bread or any kind of uh, cookies you, are, you can talk so on top of that uh, we give the egg wash so it give a nice color to that product it gives the appearance in so it enhance the appearance of the product okay or any baked product then we will talk about the yeast and yeast another have uh, some few uh, functions which help in the bread makings yeast is mixed with the flour into the dough it it releases co2 and it helps to rise the product okay yeast increases the volume and improves the grain okay and the texture of the flavor to the baked baked product it is basically helps uh, like uh, the main function of the yeast is it helps to uh, rise the product and it helps to uh, make the product uh, more uh, softer and uh, to in increase the volume of the product okay yeast conditions the dough gluten so that it attains the sufficient mellowness uh, to stress under the pressure of co2 gas and form the structure of the product so as i told you earlier earlier so it helps to rise the product and it gives a proper shape to the product after the final proofing and uh, you know that uh, yeast is uh, helping helps to um, like keep the uh, proofing of the product actually after that uh, we uh, will talk about the salt the few functions of the salt are uh, it helps the yeast activity of the yeast you can say that it uh, if you will not add the proper amount of salt in the uh, dough so maybe yeast will act more and uh, it will not uh, like uh, it, yeast activity will be not uh, you can say a uh, control so for, to control that activity to control the more amount of uh, rising of the yeast we add the salt it, it improves the flavor of the product it gives the taste to the bread uh, like our bread okay then uh, bakery product uh, fresh or moist uh, keeps bakery product like uh, fresh and moist for longer time okay then uh, it acts as a uh, improves the texture as a, of the grains of the baked product okay then it has a tightening function of the flour protein and improves the gas retention power of the dough means it's, it's talk, uh, basically talking about the yeast that what it is acting as a like when it is rising that it helps the, our salt helps to uh, improve like doesn't allow the yeast to like rise more okay so it prevents the formation after that we will talk about the uh, it prevents the uh, formation of the growth and undesirable bacteria at a certain level of the yeast raised dough. Okay, then it improves the warp also. In warp already have, uh, spoken in the class of the warp is nothing with uh, water absorption power. Okay, so it uh, improves that quality also. It controls the production of unwanted acid in the dough. Okay, so these are the few uh, functions of the salt. Now we will talk about the our uh, 
leaning is a uh, few of the leaning is that which are help help in the bakery product it increase the uh, volume of the product improves the product of the uh, improve the product by making it tender and lighter enhance the crumb color it, it keeps basically it helps to give a you can say uh, extra color to the product extra texture extra uh, like smell and flavor to the product it increase the digestion quality also okay so you can say the leavening is and you can say uh, it can be uh, of the baking product may be brought by the four methods mechanical chemical biological natural and vapor pressure okay you can say uh, mechanical is by the air by the creaming it can be done chemical you can say by the co2 okay it can be baking soda or baking uh, sodium bicarbonate or sometimes it can be uh, baking uh, powder as well so after that uh, biological if you we'll talk about the biological uh, leavening leavening agent or natural leavening agent is a vapor pressure which we uh, which it applies automatically on the bread while make, uh, making it and the uh, last one you can talk about the moistening agent okay so moistening we can talk about the water as well as the milk and even i uh, spoken you about that the egg also acts as a moistening agent so if you we'll talk about the water it keeps the moisture to the product it uh, combines all the dry ingredients together means after adding you have seen that if you not add the proper amount of the water it will not helps to combine all the ingredients together now it helps the control the batter of the dough temperature controls the consistency of dough and batter and affects the volume and texture of the cakes okay it helps us to release co2 okay for example uh, and uh, baking powder is a co2 like it helps to that uh, release that uh, when we are adding baking powder so it helps to that and the formation of vapor pressure which gives a uh, volume to the product water is converted into vapor during baking which requires more space and thus leavens the product means uh, if you are adding uh, around 60 to 70% of the water in the bread making it when you are uh, after baking it goes off it evaporate after baking it and uh, you will feel there is a less amount of moisture and that's the reason your bread get more lighter after baking means if your uh, if your dough is uh, like of 455 gram of the final dough uh, before baking it will be like around 450 as you have seen in the earlier class also we have tested in the classes and you have weighted you, have, you can check after the final yield so basically it uh, evaporates after baking whatever moisture is there contains in the bread it evaporates okay then after that we will talk about the milk it's another leavening agent uh, sorry moistening agent which we use in the bread it keeps a nutritive value to the product it has a tightening effect of the flour protein which improves the gas retention power of the dough it gives in it helps in uh, producing soft, soft and silky structure basically we, if we are adding uh, our milk in the bread so it uh, enhance the taste texture color as well as uh, you can say um, it give it will give you a bread more more uh, like more softer breads okay so it gives the flavor and taste to the product another function is it improves the texture of the product okay milk is a uh, uh, it keeps uh, keeps the product tender okay the butter fat present in the milk keeps the product moist for the longer time and improves the shelf life beside imparting unique flavor to the product so these are basically all the uh, uh, like six to seven important uh, ingredients which we use in the bread making and their functions so we will talk about the next topic in the next class thank you